I realized, you know, why everyone says what a beautiful book this is. Not because thirteen chapters are beautiful, because I was I had tears in my eyes and I couldn't figure out is it because the book is ending, is it because of the ending? And then I re- I realized like slowly it was an amalgamation of so many things. I was so proud that a book like this hmm. has come out of India. Wow! And it's a beautiful book about. mental health and even more beautiful writing about caregivers because it's it is from the point of view of caregiver usually jo kitabe hum padhte hain mental health ke bare mein it's narrated from the point of view of somebody who's going through the mental illness hmm. Hmm. this is a book which is from the perspective of a caregiver got it got it and you understand the kind of things they go through like usually we used to seeing na two kinds of people that person takes care so well of right. that person in the family or that person is very ignorant like kya hai right but then this actually takes you through the ups and downs of being mm. a caregiver the ups and downs of having somebody in your family suffer through mental illness right, right. and that is something that's nice yes but to write a book like em and the big who with all the arcs of characters well balanced एंड मेरे को याद है कि अभी आई हैड मेड ध्रुव सैगल कुछ दिन पहले एंड आई वॉज टेलिंग हिम कि हम लाइक डिस्कशन करने वाले हैं एम एन दिगुम पे सो ही वॉज से लाइक फॉर लाइक सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द बुक बुक ऐसे जा रही होती एंड सडनली इट गोज लाइक दिस So you like might you never know uh, what to expect. Yeah. And I think like now that we're discussing this in hindsight, it is what happens to their lives, right? right. Today they'll have a happy episode. Tomorrow suddenly they'll be very depressed trying right. to kill themselves. Right. The day after they'll be very high on life. It's just like very uneven. Amazing dude. And uh, which are some of your favorite parts from the book? You know, one of my favorite parts comes at the beginning also. In case you don't know, the book M in the Big Home is about a family that lives in a 1 BHK flat of Bombay. Hmm. It's also a beautiful take on the city by the way, but nice. um there is a mother, there is a father, son and a daughter. And the son is narrating the book and the mother suffers from the mental illness mm. the son is narrating the book and uh, there is this point where he is sitting with his mother and he's telling the reader that you know i've always wanted to believe whatever my mother says i've always wanted to believe what m says because nobody believes her and obviously as somebody who wants to believe in every story that she tells I genuinely ask questions because I want to know how that happened. Mm-hmm. And sometimes because she's used to people taking it the wrong way. Right. She kind of thinks I don't trust her. I don't uh. trust what she's telling, but I really genuinely want to trust her. and one of the reasons why I want to do so is because nobody trusts you and that then you realize mm. how somebody suffering from mental illness. You see only one part of it, but there are so many other things like nobody really understands. Mm. They might be telling you the truth, but you'll always have that thing like, hmm, yeah. "Are you yeah. sure?" you'll always have your doubts and the way he talks about this at the very beginning of the book is something that i really absolutely love and then i have a few quotes also yeah yeah please go ahead this is a quote about religion so the son in order to deal with everything that's happening in his life reads a lot of scriptures he reads quran bible he also reads gita and there you know in gita krishna is telling arjun that this is your karma this is your dharma etc you cannot run away from your dharma etc and then he just starts questioning god hmm. and then he says there was something capricious about god how could one expect perfect submission from those who are imperfect wow we as humans are imperfect how can you expect perfect submission from hmm. us how could one create desire and then expect everyone to pull the plug on it wow and if god were capricious then god was imperfect oh. and if god were imperfect god was not god and Damn. i love this chapter because it tells you the hopelessness of a man who has to stay alive how badly he wants to believe that god is there but he cannot because he's seen things in life that makes him question religion that makes him question the very existence of god and he also doesn't want to lead on but he's there hmm living life 
questioning his existence questioning god and the way he portrays it i had tears in my okay i had tears in a lot of places but it's such a beautiful thing because that is what we go through even when we are facing a problem in our life because i'm thinking about that line because if god is imperfect god is not god yeah oh man <laughs> lovely and i remember you were like sovani when while she was reading this book and when she was about to end it like so we do get very obsessed about things and hum bahut sare streams saath mein karte hain we like wherever you need to listen to it one you just need to listen to it but it happened after a long time that i saw you get excited to this extent yeah. about something and it really made me happy and she's like but web of like wani ke messages aise aa rahe the jab ya to aap kisi pe bahut gussa hote ho ya you are like one word messages ki har ki ek alag notification hai but web of you have to read it so if there were 100 words there were 100 messages and uske baad i was so excited and that's the great part about it that's why we started this like yeah. series also in the series we shouldn't be judged for being excited Absolutely. or obsessed about things yeah. life mein bhi basically aise hi hona chahiye but jao khulla batao mm. one word yeah. <laughs> but this is another reason why that i'm in the big home mental health is supposed to be a very dark topic of discussion right and i'm not saying m in the big home is a very vibrant beautiful take on mental illness no it is very dark it actually takes you through a journey where you won't feel so pressurized right right where you'll understand people where you'll understand and we live in a society where we are still very bound to our families and every one in our life i mean at least our parents and the generations that came before them have played the role of a caregiver hmm. and then you also understand their frustrations you understand why they screamed at you because you threw the wrapper out of the dustbin then there are small things in life and then especially when one of your parents suffer through something like this where you don't recognize them anymore how does it feel how do you still see that love when it is no longer available for you this is reminding me of a movie i recommended on the channel i talked to dr said warrior also about it it's a documentary on netflix it's called dick johnson is dead so mm. dick johnson ko mental illness hai and uh, he is slowly and slowly losing his memory so unki jo beti hoti hai wo ek filmmaker hoti hai and she wants ki mere father ki jo last memories hai wo logo ke dimag mein achhi rahe so apne father ko film karti hai in the process of losing his, his memory. memory but like she does it with a lot of delicacy so the parts where like he really loses the memory aur usko beti ka naam yaad nahi hai raat ko 2 baje uth ke kisi like event mein jaane ke liye taiyar ho gaye wo kabhi aise dikhati nahi hai uski baad mein baat hoti hai papa aapko yaad hai ye hua tha maine ye first discover ki thi varun grover ke through because he had posted about dick johnson is dead so in this movie there is a funeral of the dad which happens mm-hmm. ki last mein funeral ho raha hai sab log aaye and everyone is paying out to the father कट टू वी सी एक जना पीक कर रहा है उस फ्यूनरल में एक कमरे से एंड सी की दैट्स द फादर सो फादर का फ्यूनरल हो रहा है बट द फादर इज अलाइव और फिर लास्ट में फ्यूनरल के दौरान लाइक ही वॉक्स इन एंड देन एवरी वन सीज एन क्लैप इट्स बिकॉज शी इज ट्राइंग टू कीप द मेमोरीज ऑफ द फादर अलाइव और उसके साथ वो उनको एक डेथ दे रहे हैं क्योंकि उसके बाद जो भी है यू विल ओनली रिमेम्बर द बैड थिंग्स अबाउट हेम कि आपको पता है डिक जॉनसन ये भूल गया ये भूल गया ये भूल गया सो ही वॉक्स इन देर एंड लाइक एवरी वन स्टार्ट क्राइंग बिकॉज शी वॉन्ट्स टू प्रिजर्व द मेमोरीज द गुड मेमोरीज of the father so they are giving like a farewell to that and then the father walks in and unko kuch yaad nahi and he is just like being happy kuch na kuch aapko isme similarities shayad lagi hongi of course but there's this scene towards the end of the chapter and this really like, i wanted to cry and just run and hug somebody he talks about crying actually now uh, his mother is dead now everyone would consider that you'll be happy because oh my god somebody who's been um, your life your entire life was structured around and tied to the existence of somebody you couldn't leave sharp objects in the house you couldn't leave the house open you couldn't leave the house without somebody to take care of her you would expect that you know you will be better he talks about crying in general and he says you can cry in public as long as you do not sob hmm. because tears are transparent and if you're walking fast if the sun is too strong no one will notice but sobs sobs intrude they push their way into people's consciousness and then they feel duty bound to ask what has happened to you mm-hmm. that's why you can cry in public but do not sob what do you make of it like outside of 
like the context of the book why did it speak to you because when you read the book you realize the narrative narrator the way he's been brought up the way the family dynamics have been you couldn't really bring a lot of things outside home you couldn't have guests at your home because they'll have to be trained a certain way in order to sit in the house and when the mother finally passes away he wants to cry but he's never been he's not used to taking out the trouble on other people right because it's always been a thing that's handled with care inside the 1 bhk Mm-hmm. where there is just one room a washroom and a kitchen and that's where you handle all your troubles as a family and then she is dead now and he really wants to cry and he does not know because the house for the first time is filled with people and that is new because nobody came home when the mother was alive yeah. then he's walking out and then he's like you know i that day i realized that if you are going to cry you can cry because nobody will notice everyone's too busy but if you make noise if you sob people will realize and then they will feel duty bound to ask you like hey baba are you okay if you're just crying i can pretend like you know i didn't see him cry or whatever but if you saw i'll be like okay i can either plug in my headphones and pretend i'm not listening to him or i'll be like hey no. is everything okay and that kind of really stayed with me because i'm like huh. and then yes like you asked what other part of it outside the context of the book stayed with me because people don't really want to know what's happening in your life what do this they don't they don't they want they to ask but they don't want to yeah. know when they ask you how are you they never yeah, want you know to know i really get angry sometimes when people are like they mean like hi how are you and then they just walk past yeah yeah, yeah. they don't wait like for me to complete like i'm good how are you i'm like hi uh, i'm good okay yeah. <laughs> it's no, just that, a part of a yeah. hygiene and it's a very autopilot hygiene it's not even yeah. hygienic it's like autopilot and hygiene you're not even doing the bare minimum I and mean, that kind of stayed with me because i was like but if you actually answer since you ask i am not doing good they'll think you are a creep <laughs> yeah. yeah this is what life has come to so you were able to get jerry pinto for the discussion like how did it feel to like you got the yeah. author behind one of your favorite books of 2022 to have a discussion with him on a live stream yeah i remember i texted him on uh, instagram and he's like sure send me the link on this email but i wasn't like has he confirmed he asked me the date and time i was like this is the date and time he hadn't confirmed like he said okay when are you going to host it i said wednesday 9 pm and he's like send a zoom link to this id i sent the link to the zoom id nobody replied and even on the day of the live stream i'm not certain if he's if he joining <laughs> sora was asking me should we add him to the thumbnail and i'm like i don't know if he's joining <laughs> he hasn't sent a confirmation he's just sent me the details of his email then i sent him another email in the morning and then in the later he's like he replied and i was like okay cool guys we're on guys it's on guys it's, it's on, on. <laughs> yeah and i was in train so i couldn't watch the live live but like i was I whenever I like uh, tuned in I could see he was taking his time to answer to everyone yes. being very polite I think sabko bahut acha laga hoga that he showed one was like so you could you even like you know nobody is watching you in person but you could sense that there are people who have stayed back just to listen him and their mouths are dropped wide open because the way he was talking about things i don't think we've had such open discussions about mental illness because we we've never had experts also people who who could share like their first hand experience hmm. and i remember one of our godfathers ashwarya asked him about caregiving and the way he took time to answer each question understand every person where they're coming from and then answer it and the way he was very modest about his writing sumit so uh, our very dear godfather asked him why did it take you 24 years to write did you get frustrated during that time and he answered very politely oh sumit if i were to be honest because i was writing very shitty drafts <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I, I, I. Th- interestingly, this is when I tuned in. Yeah. Ki had it. I, to I, accept it. It's, had I like published it before, like it wouldn't have been him in the big home. Yeah, Aisa it would kuch, have been like, very shitty. Like it's the only book club. Like जहाँ पे अगर there is a chance that you might actually get like the person. Yeah. कि वो जो long shot it's never yeah. like like long. I was know. kind of worried for at least a good one week. I finished 13th chapter in the morning and I did so knowingly because I was like hey I just wanted to be very fresh not a good decision but I was very worried what is going to be the next book then we pick up hmm. this happened to me last year in September October December because the books that we picked up back to back was so good at yeah. least for me yeah. I loved them is bar mm. everything expanded ek to author khod aa gaye and like uh, yeah man and I think 
एक इंडियन ऑथर है सो दैट्स आल्सो अ ग्रेट थिंग सो प्राउड दैट अ बुक लाइक दिस बहुत अच्छा लगता है डूडी में साथ फिल्म yeah. में भी होता था कि फोली शटी इंडिया में बनाए कितना कूल है कितना कूल है इट्स इट्स अमेजिंग वेयर यू लाइक हे यू नो व्हाट लाइक इफ समबडी आस्क यू रिकमेंड मी अ बुक फ्रॉम इंडिया दिस इज अ ब्यूटीफुल बुक टू कम आउट ऑफ इंडिया अमेजिंग दिस इज ग्रेट वानी आई एम ग्लैड वी स्पोक अबाउट दिस इज देयर एनीथिंग एल्स यू वांट टू ऐड नो आई थिंक इट्स अ लवली बुक प्लीज गो एंड रीड इट डिड इट फील नाइस टू टॉक अबाउट द ऑब्सेशन I will read it. Like, मैंने start की थी ना like it really started liking it. ऐसे शिवी आईज मत करो. No, but like you know, we both picked up mouse after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, after I, Anurag I, Kashyap spoke about it, so I'm pretty oh, certain sure. we'll read. Oh, I'm sure. in the big home. The next time we have Peter Gold on the channel, he talks oh, about the book. Oh sure. Burn, burn. <laughs> घर की मुर्गी दाल बराबर वैभव बोलती तो रहती थी अनुराग कश्यप ने बोल दिया नहीं नहीं ऐसा नहीं है ऐसा सिर्फ दो परसेंट है बट ऐसा सिर्फ बारह प्रतिशत है बट या बट दिस इज अमेजिंग गाइज एंड थैंक यू वानी एंड आई एम ग्लैड वी स्टार्ट दिस कॉमेंट्स If I am looking better, <laughs> Owani is looking better. I mean, just such that's why. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you again. And have a great, great week and a weekend. And keep watching videos on Kitabi Cabin yes. and Chal Chitra Talks and all our channels. पीछे बोर्ड पे सब के नाम लिखे हुए हैं शायद अभी नहीं देख सकते but you know where. But to do like, to. share, and subscribe. Yeah. And subscribe to Kitabi Cabins and let's get it to 10k as soon as we can. Yeah. इस पर जल्दी से 10,000 subscriber करा दो. एंड फिर हम एक अच्छी सी पार्टी थ्रो करेंगे एंड अगर आप हमारे गॉड फादर हो तो हम आपको इनवाइट भी करेंगे एंड यू कैन चेक आउट द लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन टू सी हाउ टू बिकम अ गॉड फादर ऑफ चल चित्र टॉक्स एंड किताबें कैमेंस विल सी यू सो बाय